the outside air temperature is uh, uh, fairly chilly. It's minus 25. We are in visible moisture. I've not done anything about uh, hot, hot items except for pedo heat, which comes on at the uh, 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 runway hold short line as we enter into the runway environment and won't go off again until we clear the runway at UZA. I have, however, in the presence of visible moisture, opened the alternate air. And uh, I'm assured that that way that we will not lose air precious manifold pressure. Uh, just a quick note about that. Uh, if I ask you the question, how would you know if uh, you had a uh, primary induction air uh, blockage? Um, the answer is um, you would not know until the wastegates on the turbochargers were completely closed. Now, at flight level 250, that's going to happen a little quicker than it would at 8,000, but the result is the same. It would be a surprise. And obviously, uh, uh, surprises for the pilot command are not a good thing. So, in an effort to avoid surprise, uh, we do the right thing, and that is we uh, uh, simply open that alternate air prophylactically with in the presence of visible moisture, regardless of outside air temperature. I can't stress that enough. It's it's certainly written in the book, and I'm prepared to say I don't agree with everything in the book, but this one is uh, is very very important. Now then, one last point on the doctrine of alternate air, and that is, um, when do we close that alternate air? And the answer is, not until we're absolutely certain there's no ice in the planet. No ice left in the planet. That is, if water or, or snow or any other uh, moisture has migrated behind the filter and refrozen, if we close that alternate air, then that, uh, that moisture more than likely ice will be ingested by the turbochargers and that of course would be bad. United 1559, maintain Mach 76, central space. 76 Mach United. Having said that, then um, we want to avoid that and the way we do it is to land and taxi with alternate air open and shut it only after the engine is shut down. At least uh, that's my recommendation to you. And we understand, all understand the risk of fraud due to uh, dust, but um, if we simply uh, taxi in the center and uh, taxi carefully, that uh, that fraud will, will be obviated. So, uh, recommend that you not close the alternate air until there is no chance that there's any ice in the plenum with a turbocharger spinning. Okay, uh, Dick Rochford here. Thanks for your attention, and it's uh, back to the plate for me.